President Joe Biden of the US stated that his instincts tell him that the timing of Hamas's attack on 7th of October against Israel is a result of the recent efforts to integrate Tel Aviv along with other nations in the region as a part of the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor commonly known as IMEC I'm convinced one of the reasons Hamas attacked when they did, and I have no proof of this, as my instinct tells me, is because of the progress we were making towards regional integration for Israel and regional integration overall. And we can't leave that work behind. The corridor announced on the sidelines of the G20 leaders summit held in New Delhi in September was called a big deal, a really big deal by President Biden. The leaders of the US, the UK, Saudi Arabia, European Union, Italy, France and Germany, along with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, came together to announce the project that has the potential to reshape the trade route between South Asia, the Middle East and Europe, connecting these regions by rail and sea links. Questions surrounding the future of IMEC have come up recently because of the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. Today, I will explain why Israel is a key cog for the establishment of the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor. Currently, trade between Europe and India is by maritime routes, commonly through the Egyptian controlled Suez Canal. According to a report published by the US Naval Institute, 12% of global trade passes through the Suez Canal as of 2021. The IMEC envisions a new trade route that consists of the Eastern and Northern Corridors. The Eastern Corridor would connect India to the Middle East and the Northern Corridor would connect the Middle East with Europe. IMEC consists of a multimodal transport corridor connecting India's west coast with the UAE by sea, followed by a rail route crossing the Arabian Peninsula to the Israeli port of Haifa. From Haifa, Goods would be transported by sea again to Europe via the Greek port of Piraeus. Israel and Greece are not currently signatories to IMEC, but the project has a potential to expand to include them. However, it would require countries in the Arab world to normalize ties with Israel. Before the current conflict in West Asia broke out, there were reports of efforts by the US to mediate a normalization agreement between Saudi Arabia and Israel. The normalization of ties between Israel and the Arab world has been a foreign policy goal of two US administrations, the Trump administration and the current Biden administration. In 2020, Israel signed the Abraham Accords with four countries, Sudan, Morocco, Bahrain and the UAE, followed by a normalization agreement with three of them namely Morocco, Bahrain, and the UAE. The creation of formal ties would allow projects like the IMEC to come to fruition. However, a lack of an agreement with Saudi Arabia risks the project from taking off as without Israel as a part of it, the IMEC route to bypass the Suez and connect India to Europe via the Middle East is at risk. The Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan after the G20, announced his support for an alternative transportation corridor, the Iraq Road Development Project, which would connect the Gulf to Europe via Turkey. An IMEC with Israel would bypass Turkey as Greece would become the key to Europe. This is why Israel is an important part of IMEC. Thank you for watching. This is Keshav Padmanabhan for The Print. Subscribe for more news and analysis.